Hello guys, I'm going to be talking about access levels in this video, and um, what they are is, you know that part of the class where we have like private and then public later, and I haven't really talked about what that means, uh, that's what we'll be addressing today. It's not very complicated really, so it shouldn't take too long, but... Okay, so I'm just going to make a class here and call it A and not bother to think of a proper example um, because it, we don't really need a real example. All I want to show you is... So, okay, so when we define private... or We're not defining anything. We're just saying this is the private access level. So when we put stuff in this level, uh, like, uh, you know, integers or whatever, what that means is that these anything in the private access level is not accessible from outside of the class itself whereas things in the public uh, access level like the constructor or uh, like we had that output function in the last in the time video in the last video uh, those can be accessed from outside of the class uh, I'll show you what I mean. So let's, first of all, I have to define these or else it's going to complain. Okay, so let's make an instance of this. I'll just call it INST instance. Um, and it's going to want an argument. So let's say this is 10. Let's just default value 10. And then, um, so let's, let's call the output. So you notice we use this little dot operator to access this output method. And we can do that because it's in the public um, access level. So that's totally legal to do that. We should be fine so far. But then if we try to do something like this, if we try to be like inst.n, this integer up here, and then we try to set that to our own value, like 25 or something, um, that's gonna fail. We're gonna get an error. So I'll show you that. Yeah, see, error, uh, n is, is private. So, uh, it, it sees that we're kind of trying to get into the private, uh, access level, and it won't let us do it. So, yeah, that's about it. But you can see we, we called output just fine, even though, I mean, it didn't compile, so it didn't actually get called. But we called the constructor and the output method just fine. Now, if you if you wanted your variables to just be accessible anywhere, uh, you can put them in the public access level, and then this will be fine. So now we should actually compile all right. Yeah. So there it's 10 and then later it's 25 because we went ahead and changed it. So um, you could do it like that if that's how you want to set up your class. But um, if we go back to what we did in the last video with the time class, uh, we had that adjust time method and we wanted to call that every time that uh, any of the hours or minutes variables got uh, changed because we needed to check if it was going over 60 or 24 or whatever. Um, so we had those members private so that people couldn't just go in like this because if we allowed them to do that, if this was the time class, we went like hours equals 25 like that, we're not going to be calling the adjust time method. So this is just going to stay as 25 and it's going to mess up the whole point of our class, which is to not have to worry about that, uh, you know, this should automatically become one day, one hour it shouldn't be 25 hours but if we allowed them to be in the public level then we would allow people to do this which would kind of ruin the class so generally uh, your variables are kept or your uh, yeah your members are kept in the private access level because uh, you might have you, you basically want to keep the system closed you don't want people to just be able to go in and change things however they want willy-nilly 
uh, and I say people, but I mean you might end up doing it by accident too, uh, and it might lead to unpredictable results, and uh, you're not going to want that for your program. So it's just kind of a it's a way to uh, kind of safeguard your data. So that's about it for access levels, pub public versus private. Uh, there is sort of another one called protected. But I'm not going to talk about that yet because uh, we don't know enough for it to matter yet. But it will matter eventually, and I'll talk about it thus. So you'll find out about it then. Uh, okay, that's it for this video, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate it high if you liked it. Rate it low if you did not. That's fine. Um, leave a comment if you are wondering something or have any questions or send me a message. And subscribe if you want to see more videos as they come out. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.